here with another Dollar Tree haul to share with you. I found a little bit at a time here and there. I didn't get anything out of town this time this week, but I am anxious to share what I did find here in my own town. So I'm going to start off with the Halloween. Now, I don't really uh, decorate too, too much for Halloween. I did do a Halloween vignette for my channel last year, and it was request of my subscribers. Um, but I don't really do a whole lot for Halloweens. But, you know, I, I got these with uh, other plans in mind. I don't know if they will work, but I'm going to give it a try. So... I, and also, I just wanted to show you, I mean, these are cute. If you do, um, you know, you go all out for Halloween, which, you know, I, I I used to. But now that, you know, our kids are grown and we let the mom and dad do it for my grandkids now. We, we kind of backed off. <laughs> but anyway, look it. You can paint this up any colors that you want and um, yeah so I'm not real sure which side is the back I want to say this is the front side more of the burnt um, edges but look at the frame on that isn't that pretty it's a very thin wood so you got to be real careful with them so there is the spider this one is the little is that a cauldron uh, trick-or-treat isn't that pretty? I just love the frame. I just love the frame on these. And then they also had the skull lady, sugar skull lady, whatever this is. <laughs> I'm not sure. They had that one. And then they had this skull lady as well. Different type. And yeah, so they had four different ones. I thought those were really pretty. I was so happy to find these because this is an item that I thought I was going to miss. Just happened to go on the right day. <laughs> so there's that. And then this was really pretty. Well, not pretty, but I mean, really unique, I thought. And I, I thought, okay, well, I could always use maybe these in a DIY for a bathroom or a bedroom. You know, change up the bottles here. So I got that. thought that was really, you know, it... And again, if I was going to decorate for Halloween, this would definitely be a, a nice little, you know, pick your own, pick your poison. And it's got all, you know, the different shapes of the poison bottles there. I just thought that was neat. What does it say? They also, it's spider, uh, spider venom, witch's brew, and poison. <laughs> so that's, that's really neat. So I got that one. And let's see, stick this out of my way. And then, oh, I got two of those. I got two of those. Those will be crafting supplies. And then I just couldn't pass this up. I think I have one similar to this, if not the same. I just, I thought that was really cute. I might put this out on my door this year or out on my patio. I don't know, but I just thought he was adorable. So I did pick that up. They also had a witch, I believe, and a jack-o'-lantern, if I'm not mistaken. And then, moving on, Laura, moving on, no rambling. <laughs> so I picked up these cookie cutters so I because th I thought I might make some sugar cookies this year. And, you know, if I don't use these for cookies, you can also use them for clay or, you know, uh, jello molds. But anyway, uh, let's see. So there's a skull. A ghost and a little what is that the uh, grave marker so I got that one and then they also had the pumpkin the bat and the cat so I thought those were really neat I'm really thinking about making sugar cookies this year and decorating them up I used to um, love to do that okay so I'm gonna move on to food now and get this out of my corner they had these Haribo dinosaur shaped gummies. I thought those were really fun to give to the grandkids when they come. They were here last weekend, but I forgot all back. Um, they left yesterday, but I forgot to give it to them. So yeah, Mima failed there. <laughs> and then they had the Fantastic Mix. 
Uh, I don't know why I got these. Maybe my son uh, picked these out. So there's that. It's got the airplane, a dinosaur or an alligator. No, don't ask me. I don't even have my glasses on. I'm trying to describe these to you. <laughs> Let's see, it's got, uh, I'm not even gonna go there. I'm just gonna show you the picture and, and you guys can make out what those are. <laughs> but it does say you on there. So I picked that up, probably my son. And then I thought these were new. I'm not sure. They're smart fries and they're aged white cheddar. I thought I'd give these a try. It says, uh, z zero artificial colors, artificial flavors, preservatives, MSG, trans fat, and cholesterol. So I thought that was pretty interesting. So I did pick up a couple bags of these to snack on. And then these, I don't know if these are new either. Um, Sun Best Fruit Filled Biscuits. I had not seen them. This is the Raisin and Apple. I thought those looked yummy. So I'm going to give those a try. And then I just picked up some barbecue sauce. Since it was there, this is the bullseye honey. So, I mean, you can get this at the market for 99 cents or 88 cents sometimes, but I was there, I saw it, I picked it up. Okay, let me get this stuff out of my way and I'm gonna move on to accessories. I'm so happy, Not well, I'm excited because I found these socks for my sweet friend Allie over at DP's Wonderful World. If you have not checked her out, I she's so sweet. I love to watch her videos. Um, so yeah, go check her out. I'll leave a link in my description area. But Allie, I got these socks for you. I immediately thought of you when I saw them. So these will be headed your way uh, real soon. They're the little sloths. Aren't those adorable? They're so soft. So there's a stripe, oh, got a little string here. There's a striped pair and then the sloth. Aren't those adorable? I hope you like them and um, keep an eye out. <laughs> and then the other uh, design, I got these for myself. These are the little koala bears and they're striped. And then they got this striped one on the other side. Aren't those cute? They're so soft and fuzzy. Anyway, and these are um, these are Beverly Hills Polo Club, but they are distributed by Greenbrier. So got those. And then these were really soft. I don't like the socks that I got really dry hands, so I always look for socks that don't snag my hands because it's the awfulest feeling. I it just makes me cringe um, when I run my fingers across something and my, it catches. So anything like fiber, what is that? Um, microfiber, uh, cloth, I can't do it. It just bothers me so bad. But anyway, I'm rambling. I picked up these because they, they're so soft and they don't snag. And a lot of the no-show socks now, they do have that material that I don't like. So I did pick these up. I should have got my glasses. So I can see, there they are. Here's my glasses. I wanna see what it's made out of. 97% polyester, 3% spandex, that's why. So these are the kind of material I need to look for, but you know, me, I never have my glasses at the store, but anyway, I just fill them. <laughs> so I did pick up two packs of these, so um, that that'll, keep me for the winter time and then they had these cute socks out again by um beverly hills polo club i thought these were adorable i got the little grandsons some socks so there's the shark and then there's the plain there are those plain white plain white with the blue heels and the blue toe i believe yes and then this one with that design there so i got them each one of these style and then I got the dinosaur I thought those are really cute and then there's stripes and then blue with the gray heel and toe so I got them each a pack of those so I'd have to get those to them not forget I gotta put them in their pile 
Okay, and the only thing for fall that I found was this little pail sitting all by itself. I couldn't remember if I had it or not, but I have um, the bicycle theme in my craft room, so I thought, you know what, I'm getting this. I'm going to put it right here. Yeah, I think it's so, so pretty. Um, let me show you close up. So it's got the bicycle on one side, and it says, Happy Fall, and then it has the, wheel, uh, the wagon there full of pumpkins. Isn't that cute? So yeah, let's go in there. Okay, moving on to stationery. They had the um, 12 pack of pins there, Bic. I just picked them up. I don't know how well they write. It says, um, fine, but I don't know. I, I just picked them up just to keep them on hand. I'll probably give these to my dad. He's always looking for a pin. And then I got these. These are um, hand lettering, it says. Glasses on fine chisel so yeah it's got the two tip i think i've gotten these before um so it's got the chisel tip and then the fine tip see there on the back so i picked up a pack of those just to have and then i picked up an envelope to send my socks <laughs> for Allie. so yeah just pack of those there's two packs and one so i got those and then Moving on, let's see, it's a little mix match here because like I said, it was a little here and there. Um, I found the Apple Core. This is not new, but it finally came to my store and this is by Cooking Concepts. So I did pick that up. Uh, it looks like you can uh, chop onions or whatever. I'm gonna open it. Yeah, so you can use it for apples or onions, lettuce, you know, whatever you wanna chop up. <laughs> So I did pick that up. And then I saw these. It's a shampoo bar. I th just thought it was interesting. I grabbed one just to kind of see what it was. It's a travel tin. And it that's included. And it's Berry Bliss. I can't smell it. Uh, directions. Lather between wet hands or directly onto hair. Massage into hair. Rinse clean. So yeah, that's pretty neat for, you know, when you're traveling, you don't want to take a whole lot of stuff with you. So, hey, why not? I hope it works. I did pick up two of those. All right. I think I can get my little corner free now. I'm going to move on to some more Halloween and some... Different. I also found the Play Food. They um, used to carry these. I hadn't seen them in a while. This is the one with all the fruit. The, there's a lemon, an orange, a banana, some grapes, a strawberry, and an apple. So yeah, I thought that was going to be fun to put in the kitchen for the kiddos. And then there's this one with the veggies. It's got the corn, the carrot, the pumpkin. Uh, it looks like some lettuce or broccoli, not sure. A bell pepper and then a red pepper. Thought that was cute and this is one that i have never seen um i don't know if they're new or not but it's got the donuts and the ice cream with the ice cream cone uh let's see some milk so yeah i just thought that was going to be fun to play with they love to cook mima and papa food when they come over here this is one of the things they they both love it <laughs> so anyway and then for me, I thought this would be fun. Memory flash game. I, I, I enjoy these kind of things just to kind of keep my brain, you know, sharp. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just a big kid at heart. So I did get that. The pillar candles that they have back out at the Dollar Tree. I have not seen these out since before the pandemic. I had a really hard time finding uh, these last year. Um... Don't know about the ivory, but I know for sure for the white, I could not find any. I kind of, when I would do my DIYs, I would have to kind of pull them off for different ones because I couldn't find them. So anyway, there's this design, just the regular LED, you know, candle type in ivory. And then there's this design. This is back too. It's not new, but it's really pretty. So there's that one. Looks like it's got little pearls with that, you know, pillow design on it. 
So I did pick up two of those. And then around Halloween, they usually do carry these uh, color changing LED tea lights. So I did pick up two packs of those. Um, so yeah, for the holidays, got those. <clears throat> and then these are not new. I couldn't remember if I had this. Um, I thought of, you know, happy fall. So I did pick this one up. And then for more decor, I thought these were really nice. They're really heavy. They're really thick. You see how thick they are? And this one says Inspire. And then the Heart with the Love. And then this one says Dream Without Fear. So I did pick up one of, one of each of these just to show you all. And, you know, maybe just to put in my my crafting supplies. I mean, they're really cute like this. I just have nowhere to put them. Okay. And then I think that was, yeah, that's it for decor. So for the Halloween, just for, you know, just for kicks, I just got the happy hunting's little cauldrons there. And I'm going to fill them with eyeballs when the boys come over. I just thought that would be cute to put it, you know, with the, some candy on my table for, you know, the grandkids to come by and then they do their trick-or-treating and then we shut it down <laughs> and then we're, we watch movies the rest of the night. Um, yeah, we're funny daddies like that. Like I said, we, we've, we, we've settled down and pulled back a little bit for Halloween. We don't have a whole lot of kids coming to our street, so it's like kind of senseless to keep our light on and, you know, anyway, anyway, rambling again. So I did find these trees. I thought that was a really neat idea for Halloween. Um, I'm going to open it up. I haven't really taken a good look. Oh, okay. So it's um, black and orange tree. So yeah, I did pick up two because, you know, these can be pretty sparse. But, um, you know, you could always paint these, I think. That was my thought. I, I wouldn't use this because I like I said I don't do a whole lot of decorating but I thought well I can get them and maybe I can paint them up or maybe I can turn this into a fall tree um I'm not sure yet what I'm gonna do but yeah so I did pick up two boxes while they were there because knowing me I get a great big idea and then I go back and they're gone so got those and then they had the um the all the ribbons out, all the spooky ribbons with the spider webs and the bats and the ghosts and stuff like that. But I didn't get any of those, but they did have this buffalo check one. And I thought, well, I'm going to grab it while it's there. I can, you don't have to use this for Halloween. So got that. But I can't wait to see how many ideas that crafters come up with on YouTube using this buffalo check. Yeah, I'm excited to see what they do. So I did pick up those. So last thing, I'm falling off my chair here. Last thing today, I finally found the telephone stands here, the little, and I thought, I've been looking for these. I got one for my husband and I and for my youngest son. And so you just stick this down on a table. I'm going to just stick it like this, like that. And then you stick your phone to that and you can just sit there and you know, watch your phone or film or do whatnot. But yeah, I just see sticky. And it's just thought, you know, I can't wait till these come out. So what a great idea. So yeah, I got to see each one of these. Oh, and it says VIP on there. <laughs> That's kind of cute. So anyway, that was it for my Dollar Tree haul today. I hope you're all taking care out there. And my heart goes out to you all in Tennessee. The flooding there is just so awful. If I have any subscribers, um, I'm so sorry, and uh, I'm praying for you all. So anyway, with all that said, thank you, thank you for stopping by and watching. And Allie, watch out for that package. I'll talk to you all later. Bye. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. Okay. Okay, I'm back. I hope you all enjoyed.
enjoyed my little blooper there. I just thought it was so, so funny. Um, I, <laughs> yeah, if there's anything that you all have found out about me, um, during this last year of starting this channel, I'm very clumsy. Um, my youngest daughter it, it took after me. We're both just, things just happen. We drop things, uh, things just fall out of our hand. We trip, we fall. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that little blooper of mine <laughs> and i'm the, i'm sorry but i'm one of those people that if you fall in front of me i'm laughing while i'm saying are you okay are you okay because i don't know what it is i that's just what it i i it, i find it so funny i'm not laughing at you it's just the act it's the i think it's because i'm so used to laughing at myself because i fall or trip a lot or drop things a lot. So <clears throat> when I see other people, like when I'm watching funniest videos, oh my goodness, I laugh so hard, I cry. It's just like, it's the funniest thing to me. But um, yeah, I've had people fall in front of me and I'm laughing while I'm saying, are you okay? Are you okay? <laughs> they, they don't know what to say to me because I can't, um, I, I mean, if it was a bad fall, and they were, I mean, I knew that they were really hurt. Of course, I wouldn't be laughing. I'd be scared, but Little trips and stuff like that just get me. I don't know what it is. Anyway, I'm rambling again. I just wanted to show you what I found at the Dollar General. I, I could, I've been, ha it's been sitting there, and I can't wait to show you all so I can put it away or put it out. But I found um, one of these trucks, and it comes with a stand. These are not new. These are not new. I just. This is the Halloween one. I know that they had them out for Christmas. I did do a DIY with one. Um, and for the fall, I do believe. But So you can paint it up, and it goes like that on the little stand. I just thought that was really cute, and it's $2. So, yeah, and it's, a, it's thicker wood than the one from the Dollar Tree. So I did get that, but this is the really fun find. I could not pass this up. I, it, I was like, I was like, put, I was like going, putting it back, putting, getting it, putting it back, getting it. And I was like, no, I'm getting it. It's so cute. I love the color. Look at that truck. And it's got the little, it's a cookie jar. So you, it, you can, this comes, this part comes off. I'm going to open it with you all here. I just, oh, it's so, so cute. Okay. So. It goes like that, and then it's, there's the cookie jar, if you can see that, and then here's the lid. So yeah, I just thought that was so neat. Now, <clears throat> with the, during the discussion in my head, while I'm putting it back, grabbing it, putting it back, grabbing it, <laughs> I thought, you know what, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take it, because after the fall, I can always decorate this any way I want. I don't have to use it as a cookie jar. I can, you know, put it. Christmas stuff in here. I can do Easter. I can do spring. I can do summer. Sky's the limit. I thought for $8 universal piece, <clears throat> I'm getting it. So uh, can you hear my excitement? I'm so excited. I just think it's so cute. I love the color. They also had a red one. And I think I did show that in one of my, my hauls. If not, actually, I'm going to link all the pictures with the what I did find from the Dollar General um, in this in this haul. So anyway, I did find the Meet Me at the Pumpkin Patch magnets, and I I do remember now. I have lots of pictures because they had a lot more of the magnets, and I did want to show you all what they had. So stay tuned for some pictures at the end of this clip, and I will talk to you all later. Um, I know I've said. Uh, I'll see you later or talk to you later a couple times in this video. I know I'm just kind of scatterbrained today, but for real this time, thank you for watching and I'll talk to you all next time. Bye.